Be careful or terrible things will happen. Hey everyone, so I have another Sabrina episode review to do today and this is episode 4 of the first season, Terrible Things. And I absolutely love this episode and I know I keep saying this about all the series 1 episodes, or the season 1 episodes, sorry. But I do, I absolutely love them, they're always so fun and exciting and they're still very fresh because we're just in this one. In this episode, which aired on the 18th of October 1996, Sabrina is, is advised not to do charitable magic, which basically implies any magic that could help any mortal in any way. Now obviously if there's a mortal hanging off of a cliff and they're about to plummet to their death, she can use magic to save them. But if it's kind of selfish magic, if they want something for themselves and their life wouldn't be worse without it, it's kind of charitable magic. So she does three acts of charitable magic without really realising that it's charitable magic. She, she makes Mr. Poole rich by giving him the solution to creating gold. She, she allows Jenny to be elected school president, even though she wouldn't have actually had any votes regardless of that. And she also allows Harvey to make the football team. Now there are three big backfires with that. First of all, Mr. Poole really abuses his richness. It, you know, he, he becomes quite snobby and snooty and just really uncooperative. Jenny struggles to be school president because even though she became school president, it was through magic, so the student body aren't exactly willing to give her ideas and help and things. So it's a really difficult time for her. And Harvey, although he made the team, he wasn't physically built for it. And he came away with a good few injuries because he was still quite weak and not, not physically tough enough yet to handle it. Which I think was probably the most severe outcome of all of the three. And there was only one way to fix it, you know. Sabrina didn't have a clue what to do. She was summoned by Drell, head of the Witches' Council, where he goes, terrible. Terrible, terrible, like that. And he, he, like you know, you have to fix this. You have to do this, or I will turn you into a grasshopper, kind of thing, like I will do with Jenny in a couple of episodes time. <laughs> he didn't say that. So Sabrina has to try and find a way to fix it. And you know, it's heartbreaking for her, but she's got to find a way to make Mr. Poole poor again. She's got to find a way to tell Jenny to step down, and she has to try and persuade Harvey that the injuries really are not worth being on the team. So it's, she's not actually got one spell she has to reverse, but she has three, and sometimes it's hard to do it. She can't really do a reversal spell. She has to physically kind of do it, kind of half mortal, if you like. So it is really quite a tense episode, because you're watching it thinking, how is she going to get out of this one, you know? But in the end, we, we have a happy conclusion, as we always do with Sabrina, unless it's a two-parter, which is never really a happy conclusion. But no, this isn't. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favourites from the from the series, from the series one. And it's also directed by Gary Hoverson, which is absolutely brilliant, because he is my all-time favourite director. He's directed loads of Sabrina, Two and a Half Men, Friends, Everybody Loves Raymond, any sitcom I love, he's directed it, which I thought was, it's really, really nice. It's also got a lot of drill in it. Now, Pendula, I absolutely love. You know, we have Beth and Caroline and Melissa and um, Nate Richard as Harvey. We also have Michelle Budwin as Jenny. Now Jenny actually is in less than half of the season 1 episodes, which annoys me greatly because Lindsay Sloan as Valerie was in basically every episode for two full seasons. Why couldn't we have had that with Jenny? I miss Jenny. I like Jenny. But yeah, it was, oh, and um, Paul Feig as Mr. Poole, which his name is pronounced Feig. I was never sure it was, if it was Feig or Feig, but I asked him and he said Feig. So it's nice to have that cleared up. But yeah, I absolutely love this episode. If you haven't seen it for some reason, you can watch it on YouTube. But I do advise that you buy the season one box set and all the box sets because, you know, it's just, it's perfect. It really is. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this or anything else. And that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.